Welcome to Let's Play Toka Championship Racing, Part 17. And we're going to Snedderton for our next two rounds. And yeah, let's do it. Well, Snetterton is our venue today for round 17 and 18 of this year's championship. Let's see how the main contenders fared during the first qualifying session. Alright, so there we go. So, time to qualify for round number 17, and well, you know what comes after this, the transition. Vroom. With only hundreds of a second separating the first few drivers, we should have a cracker of a race on our hands. All right, so, first of all, thank you, Bilo, for stealing the pole from NU by .02. You don't get that point, Alan. Ha ha. Now, where am I starting? I'm starting in 10th. All right, with a 109.64. So, pretty much normal. Par for the course for me. The cars are ready to for, start uh, the first race. So, let's join them. Qualifying, so, with that, we have 23 laps here around the Snetterton course. So away we go. There's going to be a couple trouble spots for me as far as uh, uh, high speed turns. This first turn being one of them. Oh my god, I'm getting bullied to hell and back by these Vauxhalls. <laughs> Please. Oh god, teammate's trying to be a hero. And he paid dearly for it right into the tires. Well then. Fans, we want Forza and GT Sport. Me, here's Sonic GP. I mean, yeah. I want to play the games that I want to. I'm taking a break from Forza because that marathon just wore me the hell out. And GT Sport isn't happening until that game is complete. Like, complete. Completely complete. Oh my god, I'm causing more mayhem. There go two more cars off the track. But I gotta get moving so a uh, menu doesn't get too far away. Anyways, here's the other trouble spot, this long sweeping right here. But it should be fine. And then this final chicane, which, if you're not me and you really don't give a shit about track limits, you can just straight line that chicane, easy. If you want to see someone who does that, watch a Meals Let's Play of this. It's actually entertaining. You know he... yeah. Oh. Did I force Bila off the track there? Or at least I think that was Bila. Might not have been Bila. Might have been the other uh, Audi. Anyways, up to fourth. And I can see both of the Renaults just ahead. So that's good. Yes, yeah, this, this is a let's play in. But, um... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I, I kind of prefer this layout of Snetterton versus the modern layout. At least I assume this is mapped accurately, because the final... This final section... I much prefer this as a really, really tight chicane than a very, very long sweeping straightaway where you have to trail break into an extremely tight left hairpin. Because I cannot do trail braking to save my life, at least in Project Cars, which is where I drove around the modern version of this track. So yeah, there's that. Anyways, it was up to se second after two laps, which is good. Right behind Menu. Can try and be very careful on T1 there. So the car doesn't oversteer and I lose all this progress. Because we've got us a championship fight, man. We have just eight races to go. So. Top speed down the straight, hard on the brakes. Then harder on the brakes. Oh, got into the grass. Not gonna get around menu this time. But sticking close, at least. Sticking close as I lose like, two seconds to him. You know, no big deal. As long as I don't let him get too far away where he pulls out a, like a 20 second gap in a lap, I'll be fine. So, 20 to go. Here's Snetterton Race 1. Oh, there it is, there it is, damn it. 
Fuck. There it is. Alright, well, now I get really got some catching up to do. I know I shouldn't have stayed in sixth gear there, but I thought I should go for it since I was carrying a lot of speed last lap. I got greedy. God damn it. Alright, well, let's just get around uh, Thompson here. Without him wrecking me, preferably. There we go. Just gotta outbreak him. It's fine. Alright, now, how far ahead is Minyu? After that, it's, uh, well, not quite spin, but yeah. Five seconds, okay. That's manageable. That's less time than I thought I was gonna lose. And there's it. There he is. Exiting the, uh, chicane. Oh, wow, I gained a crap ton of time on him through the chicane. Holy crap. He's back on screen, and now he isn't. Dang. Gained two seconds in that final sector. Alright, so slow it down. Fifth gear. There we go. Not the most optimized run through turn one, but it's the safest. So, meh. And pulled back away from Thompson. And then you gain a little time in that first sector, but it's fine. Seems like the last part of the track is where I, uh... ...gain my time. So long I don't screw up. Yeah, the grass. Okay, maybe it's just this final frickin' chicane is where I gain any time whatsoever. And I'm not even cheating. And I'm still gaining time. <clears throat> I wasn't nearly that good this t lap. Till I thought I It's a new PB for the race, which is two seconds slower than my qualifying lap. Just a couple pixies of menu here. We also also have the uh, possible benefit of back markers holding him up within a couple laps. By within a couple laps, we should be catching my teammate Patrick Watts, the slow motherfucker, within like the next lap, unless he's not going nearly as slow as he has been the last like six rounds. Oh, and Menu screwed up. He went off course into the wall. He got intimidated. Where did, where is he? Man, he really screwed up. He he got he got the Toka oversteer, and then just was f not able to recover. Fantastic. All right. Well, uh, there goes that epic battle. The hell happened? <laughs> that was kind of beautiful. Hey, look, it's Watts. Nothing has changed, I see. He's going so slow. Despite the fact that we're in the same exact car. Patrick, please don't do this to me. Thank you. Alrighty, well. Now that I have the lead, and... Oh god, I won't know how far ahead of menu I am. I guess just time to cruise and not wreck. Is that my 97 BTCC? Why, yes, Taggy, it is. That was a little bit cheeky around the chicane that time. Oops. Smooth, don't lose control. Pretty 
pretty simple track this is. Until they, you know, like revamped the crap out of this and created that like big infield section. And w whenever they did that, I'm not actually sure at what point in the future they did that. Oh, and there's a Nissan off the course, okay. Very good. Those tire marks from me just blocking the brakes. Not giving a fuck. I'm in a Peugeot. I don't... Peugeot sedan. No fucks are to be given. And new PB for the race. Almost caught up to my qualifying lap. Only like two thirds of a second off of it now. Oh, and I see a pile of back markers. Including the Vauxhalls that tried to bully the crap out of me at the start. I hear freedom explosions out the window because I am recording this on the 4th of July. Contacts. Oh, one of the Fords is off. As well as myself. Whoopsie. Oh, and the other Ford goes off. Oh! Right back into the path of the Vauxhall. What is happening here? Man, the AR is struggling around here more than I am. Which is a bit surprising. Oh! Excuse you. I was not clear. Dumbass. No, fuck you. That's what you get. Yes, I was going slower than I can there. So fuck you. Alright, what is this? Is this the other Nissan? Nope, it's the other Vauxhall. Okay. Just whip my car around here. Do the easy lapping overtake. The overlap. The left windows are cracked now. Actually, they probably have been for a while, but I just now noticed it. Okay. And I look over at OBS and it just completely shit itself. Well, well then. Looks to be fine now, but it completely died for a moment there. Yeah, it looks fine now. Alright. Like, my OBS just kind of, at least the preview, I'm sure the stream did as well, just kind of froze for about five, at least five seconds, probably longer. Although it says I only dropped 32 frames out of that, and sure. A likely story. Oh, Jesus. Well, not my best run through that chicane, but hey. Eh. It works, I guess. At least it didn't cut it. So that's good. And still, you know, definitely no sign of menu behind me. It's going to be interesting to see what this margin victory is going to be if this keeps up. at Twitch won't let you stream for whatever reason. Are you getting any kind of like error code? 
Have you, like, restarted the compy test drive? You might have to do that. For what reason, I don't know, but OBS just might be, like... Oh, just did? Okay. Um... Hmm. I don't really know. I might have to Google that. <laughs> might have to do some troubleshooting via Google. Goo 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 goo. Or just go to Yahoo Answers, Kappa. Hey, there we go. Sub 110 in the race. Nice. As I hit the halfway point. Oh, nobody knows what the fuck is going on. Huh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Have you tried resetting your stream key? Just for shits and giggles? I don't really know. Also, hi Volvo. How you doing? Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh shit. I knew that was a bad idea, but yet I went for it anyways. I'm smart. Me big brain. 1500 IQ strats. Only lost about six seconds there, you know. <laughs> oh shit, hi Volvo. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, was not expecting him to break that earlier, or that, or I broke way later than usual. I don't know, test drive. Really don't know. I wish I knew things about technology, but sadly I cannot help. Hey, Cam. Welcome to Snetter Tetter. What to frick? Exactly. Speaking of what to frick, hello, Audi. Oh, God, goodbye, Audi. Also, the second Volvo went off. Oh, and there goes the Audi off, but managed to keep at least two tires on the track at all times. Can't say the same for this Volvo, though. He was just kind of uh, rally crossing through that chicane. At least the approach to it. Nope. Not doing it. And mildly experiencing the drunk. Oh, no. Sir, have you injected any alcohols this evening? Excuse me. There we go. Clean overtake. Or overlap, whatever. Of that Volvo. Oh, hey, look, it's my boy Patrick. Already lapping him a second time. Actually, this is taking longer than usual. Usually I lap him for the second time by, like, lap 13. God. I, I still can't get over how slow Patrick has become over the past, like, frickin' third of this champion- whoops. Championship. I accidentally cut the chicane there. Why do I stream when you try to sleep? Well, you see, Ludo. My stream, my stream, my stream schedule is dependent on my work schedule. Therefore, fuck streaming at an actual good time ever. My stream schedule is good for like Australians and Japanese. That's about it. And other, I don't know. what happens when you, when you adapt a nocturnal sleep schedule. Or forced to, I guess. And 
injected mini rum. Rum, 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 yar. I can sing you fucking sing you. Yes, I can see you singing that fucking rum by hailstorm as you drink it. Ahoy! Or French with fucked up sleep schedule. It is true, it's like what, 2 a.m. right now for you? 3? Oh shit. Saved it. I guess it's pretty good stream time for like West Coast US. You know, evening into the night, into the night, etc. Excuse me, Mr. Bila. And I appreciate your uh, services to my championship, i.e., stealing the pole from in you. Because the fewer points he can gain on me, the better. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Time to watch some fucking American nerd drive British cars and punt everybody. I knew that was gonna happen. Just because of how much slower I take turn one than they do. Okay, British racing series, not necessarily British cars. Shut up. I know what I meant, I just didn't say the right thing. But yeah, I am in a French box. So pardon me. I can't even say, you know, racing against a bunch of Euro trash, because there's also Fords in this. Oh, and there goes Vauxhall. I didn't lose, I just forgot to win. Yes. That was pretty good to run through the chicane that time. Oh, new fast lap, new fast lap. I think that's even faster than my qualifying lap. Nice. New PB for the weekend. And Ford does not bin it. Alright. I was kind of expecting the Ford to bin it there, but he did not. Much to my surprise. Anyways, top speed go. Ooh, actually hit 145. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it probably is Euro Market Fords because I'm, because you know the Mondeo. And the, well, yeah, <clears throat> probably also Euro Spec Accords, but still. And then there's the Nissan Primera. So, you know. Anyways. Three to get, or four to go. And that was not going to end well for somebody. Somebody happened to be a Vauxhall, although he recovered easily. Oh, there it goes. All right. <clears throat> Whoopsie. Sorry, Tarquini. Tarquini does drive a Honda, right? <laughs> In this game. I can never remember if it, he drives a Honda or an Audi. I'm pretty sure it's the Honda. Ooh, ooh, off! It's our, it's Tarquini.
good old Tarquini. Is it bad that I most know Tarquini from uh, Evolution GT? That was really, really, really soft-spoken and low-volume cutscenes in that game. Like, he just kind of, like, softly mumbles his way through the fucking the, uh, dialogue. Or the script. That's what I'm trying to say, the script. I need to play it like LP of that series at some point. So those are cool games. Just add that to my list of, you know, every racing game that's ever existed. Hey, Tango. Oh, and there's Plato just up the road. As we come to the end of our final uh, on screen lap. Oh, and a new personal best. Two to go. one. And there's Patrick. Damn it, Patrick. Why you gotta be so slow? No, oh, trying to dive, and it actually somehow works, and I broke way too late, so it didn't work. Never mind. Oops. There we go. Easy. Alright, now can I lap Plato in this final lap? to a good start. Getting really close to that Renault. Getting the uh, non-existent slipstream. Oh, shit. I was too busy looking at the number plate to confirm that that was Plato. Um, car, thank you. Car was stuck. I don't know why it was stuck, but it was stuck. First gear kind of like acted like neutral there for some reason. That was odd. Alright, well I'm not lapping Play-Doh, but hey, whatever. It's not like that matters. The only thing that matters is I'm going to win the race, and what matters more is that I finished ahead of Menu. So around the final turn... Coming to the line to take the win here at race one at Snetterton. Because I'm cool. The new Peugeot driver is really storming this season, and another victory moves the team further up in the Constructors' Championship. Here's the final positions. Well, there you go. I won the race by 40 seconds <clears throat> over Minyu. Holy crap. Well, then. Very good. And I lapped all the way up to fourth place or er, fifth place, so yeah. Good shit. Good shit. More dominance somehow, even though I'm actually surprised at how much I'm dominating, but at this point in the season, but hey. Works for me. So there's race well, one done. Let's qualify for race two. Which will all so obviously be in the next segment. So uh yeah, with that, stay tuned for race two here at Schnetterton.